A walk through downtown St. John's and you'll see plenty of new buildings and new businesses, but there's something else you might notice for rent or for lease signs seem to be everywhere. Data from a real estate firm shows the vacancy rate downtown is distressingly high. The CBC's Mike Moore explains. <laughs> So what's up with vacancies downtown? Just how many retail spaces and office buildings are sitting empty? So the thing is, there's really two kinds of vacancy. Regular vacancy and zombie vacancies. I'll come back to the zombies. Let's start with regular vacancies. In December, downtown St. John's had an office vacancy rate of nearly 37%. That means one in every three desks down here is gathering dust. And that's doubled the vacancy rate in downtown Halifax, where it's just over 18%. You can really feel it in places like Atlantic Place. The food court here used to be packed with restaurants and packed with people, but now it sits mostly empty and restaurant stalls sit vacant too. What's driving the vacancy rate? In part, it's a long-term trend. Big oil companies like Suncor and ExxonMobil both moved out of downtown in 2020, moving hundreds of workers to cheaper office space elsewhere in the city. Then there's that other thing that happened in 2020. The pandemic drove office workers to work from home, and some haven't come back. Now the office vacancy rate affects more than just offices. The morning coffees and the lunches that office workers buy help support an entire ecosystem of businesses downtown. And if they stay empty, they may turn into the other kind of vacant. A zombie vacancy is a building that's been vacant for so long it's basically dead. Or rather, it's dead on the inside, but the outside part staggers on, slowly rotting and haunting the streets. In other words, a zombie. There are two big zombies in downtown St. John's, the old CBC radio building, and the old Breakwater Books building and former site of Robotham, Mackay and Marshall, which burned down in 2010. These buildings are so vacant, they don't even count in the official vacancy rate, but they definitely count in how we experience downtown St. John's. The Breakwater Book site sits right next to the National War Memorial, and next year the memorial turns 100. This spray-painted construction fence isn't a great backdrop for the celebrations. What can the city do about it? Well, I asked the mayor, he says a vacancy tax isn't on the table, and that the owners of the zombie buildings don't want their buildings to be zombies. Instead, it's economic and market forces that are keeping us from bringing these buildings back to life. There are plenty of bright spots in the downtown picture. Some formerly vacant sites have been restored and some new buildings are going up. But getting that 37% vacancy rate down is a high priority.